in a groundbreaking discovery done by the NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers have detected the farthest star ever in the very distant universe, within the first billion years after the Big Bang, and it is five times more hotter than our Sun, and million times more brighter. Join us as we explore more about this amazing discovery done by the James Webb Space Telescope. The background of our universe is flawlessly black, with brilliant stars and galaxies blazing against it. However, this wasn't always the case. In the early history of the universe, a cloud of hydrogen atoms covered the light from the first stars and galaxies. It is thought that the cosmos evolved into what it is today, after the hydrogen fog was destroyed by the potent UV light from the first generations of stars and galaxies. Since previous generations of telescopes were unable to study those early cosmic objects, astronomers are now using the James Webb Space Telescope's superior technology to study the stars and galaxies that formed immediately after the Big Bang. Finding stars that are particularly far from us, or that are closest to the Big Bang in time, can shed light on the early history of the cosmos. In 2022, the Hubble Space Telescope broke its own record by locating the farthest distant star ever seen. This star, called Arendelle, first appeared within the initial billion years of the cosmos. But finding the star and determining its distance is just the start. We need more in-depth information about it. That's where NASA's James Webb Space Telescope comes in. Initial observations by Webb of Arendelle have provided information on the star's nature and even the galaxy that it is surrounded by. The brightness, temperature, and composition of Arendelle and its host galaxy, the Sunrise Arc, may also be discovered by future study of Webb spectroscopic measurements. The farthest star yet discovered in the very extreme reaches of the cosmos during the first billion years of the Big Bang has been observed by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope in follow-up observations to those made by the Hubble Space Telescope. The star is revealed to be a giant B-type star by Webb's near-infrared camera instrument. It is nearly a million times as bright, and it is five times more hotter than our sun. The star, which the study team named after a figure from Lord of the Rings prequel The Silmarillion, is located in the Sunrise Arc Galaxy and can only be detected by utilizing the combined might of human technology and nature through a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Hubble and Webb were able to recognize Arendelle because of its fortunate alignment behind the massive galaxy cluster WHL013708, which formed a bend in space-time. Arendelle released the light that was later recognized 900 million years after the Big Bang. Earth got Arendelle's light 12.9 billion years after the star, based on the star's calculated redshift of 6.2. However, due to the expansion of the universe, the star's observed location is now 28 billion light years away. MACS J1149 Lens Star 1, the previous furthest star, is now 14.4 billion light years away with a redshift of 1.49. Observations indicate that Arendelle have a surface effective temperature of at least 20,000 degrees Celsius, 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit. A supernova explosion normally occurs a few million years after the formation of these huge stars, which would indicate that it is composed almost entirely of primordial hydrogen and helium. Since the galaxy cluster is so massive and is placed between Earth and Arendelle that it warps space owing to its mass, Astronomers can examine it by peering through it as if it were a magnifying glass. Arendelle is barely noticeable as a single point of light, even in Webb's high-resolution infrared imaging. It is therefore thought to be extraordinarily minuscule and to have been magnified by a factor of at least 4,000. Another study team using Webb found a red massive star called Quiller that was gravitationally lensed and identified 3 billion years after the Big Bang. Like Arendelle, massive stars frequently have companion stars. 
Astronomers did not expect Webb to reveal any Arendelle companions, since they would be so close together and difficult to distinguish on the sky. However, based only on the colors of Arendelle, scientists think they have found proof of a colder, redder companion star. Because this light has been stretched by the universe's expansion to wavelengths that are outside the range of Hubble's instruments, only Webb has been able to detect it. And now researchers were taken aback by the fact that Arendelle's colors also suggest that it is not alone itself. Astronomers believed that Arendelle would be too close to any companion to be distinguished from it, despite the fact that stars the size of Arendelle sometimes have companion suns. However, it wasn't the case. The Sunrise Arc, the galaxy discovered in the first billion years of the universe that has been magnified the greatest, has more noticeable features on Webb's NIR cam. Young star-forming areas and more mature star clusters, some of which can be as small as 10 light years wide, are among the features. These features are duplicated in the distortion, brought about by the gravitational lens on each side of the wavy maximum magnification line that cuts straight through Arendelle. The star-forming zone has an expanding appearance and is thought to be less than 5 million years old. Smaller dots on either side of Arendelle are images of an older star cluster that is expected to be at least 10 million years old. Due to their gravitational bonds, this star cluster is likely to still exist today. This demonstrates how the globular clusters that comprised our own Milky Way 13 billion years ago would have appeared. Astronomers are currently evaluating data from Webb's near-infrared spectrograph instrument photos of the Sunrise Arc Galaxy and Arendelle in order to pinpoint the galaxy's precise composition and distance. Since Hubble discovered Arendelle, Webb has used this technique to find additional extremely distant stars. However, none have been located as far away as Arendelle. Thanks to the advancements in stellar physics, researchers studying the early cosmos, when galaxies were the smallest known cosmic objects, now have new areas to investigate. The research team is hopeful that this could be the first step towards discovering one of the very first stars, which were simply composed of the hydrogen and helium that made up the cosmos at the time of the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope may study the early cosmos by seeing the oldest and most distant galaxies, even if it is not intended to observe the actual moment of the Big Bang. It is especially well adapted to research the cosmic dawn when the first galaxies and stars appeared, offering light on the early phases of the universe's evolution. The James Webb ability to observe infrared light is crucial for studying these distant objects, as the expansion of the universe has stretched the light they emit into longer wavelengths, shifting it towards the infrared spectrum. This makes it difficult for ground-based telescopes to capture. By observing in the infrared, the James Webb Telescope can peer through cosmic dust and gases that might obscure visible light observations, providing valuable insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies and stars during the early universe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.